Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Joe at Quad Specs, and today we're continuing the series of reviews and testing on 1S battery chargers, and we'll be looking at the Strix high voltage charger today. Uh, but make sure you check out the playlist of all of the chargers that we've reviewed so far, and also go to quadspecs.com where we have a full list of available 1S battery chargers on the market today, uh, where we look at uh, comparisons between the features and functionality. So here's the Strix high voltage charger. This is probably gonna be one of our quickest reviews so far because this is not a very full featured unit. Uh, it really just comes with an input XT60 connector. Uh, so you can plug in your 3S or 4S battery. There's just a little switch there. And then as far as the output, there are no options. We're looking at a 4.35 volt at 400 milliamp output current. And that's the only option you get. You see there's no switches here, no nothing. So uh, we're actually just going to head right into testing this unit. And first we'll look at the output current to see if it matches up with what's stated on uh, the specifications here at 400 milliamps. And then we'll follow up with uh, seeing what the final voltage is on each battery uh, as we charge them with a 4S battery here on the input. So we'll go ahead and get started. We've got our 4S battery plugged in and the chargers on the 4S setting. You'll notice on the display that we're showing the input voltage at 16.6 .6 volts. Uh, unlike some of the other units, is that it does not scroll through and show you what the output voltage is on each channel, but it does show you a green light means something is fully charged or there's nothing connected, and a red light means that the battery is charging. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our first battery, and we'll see what kind of output this has to the 1S 260 milliamp hour battery. So we're on channel five. It has 450 milliamps, maybe even a little higher. It's kind of kicking back and forth, which is higher than the rating of 400 milliamps. We'll try out channel six. Pretty much the same. We'll try out a couple more. Looks like it's pretty consistent. So yeah, it looks like this one, the output current is higher than what's stated on there. Um, unlike some of the other chargers we've tested so far where the output current is lower. Uh, so you'll notice we're charging a 260 milliamp hour battery. So a 1C rating on that would be 260 milliamps, but we're at 430 or 440 milliamps. So we're not quite at a 2C charge rating, which would be 520 milliamps, uh, which should be okay. Typically, if you stay under two, you should be fine. You might shorten the life of the batteries a little bit because you're charging them too quickly. Um, but between 1C and 2C, you should be just fine. That's not usually a problem. It's when you get over the 2C that you might see a little more of an effect on the life of the batteries. Just like we've done with previous testing, we've got all six batteries plugged in. And as these ports or these channels start turning green, we're gonna disconnect them and test the final voltage on each battery to see how close we got to 4.35 volts, and then we'll be done with our testing of this unit. Well, it looks like we drained about a volt out of the 4S battery, but we have all six of these charged up and ready to be tested. We'll go ahead and get started. We're gonna be using this Beta FPV uh, little battery tester. And the first one, is 4.38 volts. We're overcharged a little bit there. 4.38. Much of the same. Four point three five on channel four. And four point three six. So unlike the first few chargers we've looked at, the output on all of these channels was over four point three five volts and made sure that it was charged fully. Uh, but again, you do kind of risk overcharging them at that point, but I think again we'd probably be okay with 
4.38 volts. Just a few final notes on the Strix high voltage charger. We noticed that this thing charged extremely fast at that 450 milliamp uh, range and the only problem with that is when all six of those batteries were plugged in this charger got pretty warm and I think it's mainly due to the construction of the unit. So uh, if you look here there's really you've got all the components on the back side of this white board and there's nowhere for heat to escape when it's going full bore charging six batteries so it did get quite a bit warmer than some of the other ones the Ishin 6-in-1 has all these vents on the back side to make sure that those components have a chance to cool off and then also on this beta FPV board there's it's just an open concept design so all of those components have plenty of cool air to breathe as they're charging your batteries and hopefully it would extend the life of the components so I don't know long term if this charger is going to survive uh, but that is one thing the total design the way that they put that together was probably not ideal so keep that in mind if you're interested in the Strix high voltage otherwise it performed well everything charged quickly and it did its job that does it for our testing and review of the Strix high voltage 1S battery charger hopefully this was helpful and if it was make sure you like below and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.